Hey guys, for this video, I'll be showing you how to homebrew your 3DS XL. It's a bit different for a new 3DS and new 2DS, but it should be the same for 2DS and 3DS. We're going to be installing some homebrews on this custom firmware to just play ROMs of DS, 3DS, Game Boy games on here. So first, there is this 3ds.hacks.guide website. I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description, but just f go on here, read these things read all the information you'll need make sure you're comfortable with doing this because there is some risk second thing before we get started this specifically came with a 4 gigabyte SD card but you can install pretty much as big as you want of an SD card in there I see people using 256 gigabyte ones what I have here I already did it on this one this is a 64 gigabyte micro SD for this guide I'll just be showing you how to do it on the 4 gigabyte one though your SD card needs to be formatted as FAT32 if your SD card is less than or equal to 32 gigabyte of size you can just do it through Windows formatting if it's larger you need a special software I will be showing you one there's a few different ones online so let's get started so we do what it says power off your console hold select power it on while holding select you can see mine is already injected, but I'll just be showing you from the start anyways. Oh, what we're doing here is just checking which version we're on so that we can get the right guide. Go into system settings here, and then right here, it will show your system version. Just go ahead and pull up notepad and write that down. Mine says system, yours will probably say ver. So, uh, input ver, even though my says system, it should take me to, there we go. I'm on a Windows machine, click Windows. First here, we're going to install or use something called MSET9. This is something that lets you install custom firmware on your console. So first, you go here, download this zip file. I have it right here. And go ahead and install Python. Don't don't install the mic the Windows Store one. Go install it from here. I'll leave this in the link. Leave this link in the description as well. Make sure you insert your SD card into your computer. Then I'm gonna also leave this tool in the description. Open this up, and this is my SD card. Go here, and then you just hit Format, and you hit FAT32. It might, instead of having a format option, it might say create. Same thing, make sure it's FAT32, anything else doesn't really matter. Obviously putting in putting a new SD card in your 3DS, you won't have the data that you previously put on there, so make a backup of it somewhere. Um, we just formatted this one, so now let's put it in. So we get the necessary files on there from having had it in the machine, yes. Then we should have the required folder on here. Uh, There you go, as you can see we now have the 3DS folder that we want. You want to unzip this MSET9 v2.1 whatever version you have um, into its own folder. Copy everything into the drive here. Then I'm on Windows, I'm going to run the bat file. I'm pressing 1 because that's the system I have. Make sure to follow the real one for you. It says, okay, it says ID1 not created. Okay, then it says press 1 to create the ID1, so we will, yep, we know, so press 1 again and confirm, it says created hacked ID1, okay, it's fine, we press enter to exit, we eject our SD card, plug it back into console, um, you're going to be doing this a lot, so just leave the shoot open says uh, reinsert your SD card power on your console go into me maker then return to the home menu that's okay creating home menu blah 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 go to system settings go in yes we want to close it and go into data management 3ds software and then reset power off your console
So you got the SD card again. Once again, you're gonna be plugging this in and out of your machine and your console a lot. Let's back in the PC. Opening a new window here. We run this script again. One again, because that's my machine. Then press two to check the status. It says, okay, okay, okay. Check that it's fine. Eject. Take it out of your card reader, put it back in your console. Okay, you boot it up. And when it boots up, it has to be hovering system settings. If it isn't, go hover system settings and then turn it off. Okay, it is. So you press A to go in there. Then you go to data management, 3DS, extra data. And you're gonna want to, without pressing anything and without turning it off, just unplug the SD card from the slot. Leave this like it is, don't do anything. Just leave it. Plug your SD card back in the PC. There we go. Now that it's back in the PC, you want to run the script a third time. Once again, press 1, then press 3 to create the to inject the trigger file. It says successfully injected, then once again, eject the SD card, plug it back into your console without pressing anything. And then it should boot you into this screen. If it didn't, you did something wrong, try again, and then get back here. Anyways, um, now we have to do this key combo, so left, down, right, up, A. So we just click A. There we go. Okay, since I already did this, it didn't boot us into that. It's just a configuration menu. Just click start. Once again, power off the console. And once it's off, you take out the SD card. Put it back in the PC, run the script for a fourth time. Once again, one, and then it says injected, which is what we want. And then press four to remove it. I should say remove the trigger file. Now you can say five to remove M set nine from your SD card and then it should say successfully removed and you can just press enter to exit this. Now your console should boot into Luma 3DS by default. It'll look the same. Now we get to finalizing. This is where we add like the default homebrew apps like FBI, like all of these actually. FBI, homebrew launcher, and ME. You need to download these two files. Now copy finalize into just the root of the SD card and go into Luma for you it probably already exists but you want to make if it doesn't exist make a folder that's called payloads it's spelled like exactly like that then move X finalize helper in there eject it put it back into your console boot it up what we're gonna do here is update the system Then once you're in system settings, you want to go into internet settings, go into connection settings, make a new connection. I'm not going to show you my Wi-Fi here, but once that's done, once you're on the internet, it has to be on the internet to do this. Um, other settings, go all the way to the right, system update, then OK, accept, don't bother reading. So now we want to go into Rosalina, so you press the left shoulder, D-pad down and select. Then you go into miscellaneous options. You click dump DSP firmware. It says successfully written. You press B to return. Then you click nullify user time offset. It says succeeded. B, B, B again. Now we're finally going to install the homebrew things. Power the machine off. And then when it's off, you hold X, and while holding X, power it up. It should boot into God mode in this finalize setup helper script. For you, it'll probably prompt you to do these things, create essential file backup, create RTC, blah, blah, blah. Do that, and then continue from there. Now you press home to bring up the action menu. You go into scripts, 
you hit finalize. If it says something, just click A to import and it should be fine. And then you click A. Yes, we're finally doing this. Yes, we want to unlock. Now do the key combo to actually do this. And you can see it's installing a bunch of CIAs. So setup complete, you click A to power it off. And now take the SD card back out and plug it into your PC. This guide says to just back up this GM9 slash backups. What I like doing is take an entire backup of everything that's on here. So we just boom, copy over, blah, blah, blah. You can go in here. Once you have the backup, you can go delete this uh, backups folder. You don't need it and it takes up space. Now you have a homebrew machine and you can uh, go ham. Next part is we have FBI installed. I'll leave this link. It actually just shows you what you can do with it. What we want to do though is we will just make a folder called CIAs in which we put our CIA files. FBI can then install them onto our, onto our con console for us. Next step is here. This is called new super ultimate injector this is used to take games like game boy game boy color game boy advanced games and turning them into cias so fbi can then install them onto our machine first click this link you will go to this dropbox just hit download up here you get the whole thing you will get the zip file unzip it and then before we go ahead with that you will also need this tls patcher otherwise it won't be able to download the game art. Download this, run this. You wanna go find a ROM somewhere. The one I found was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's a .gbc, so it's a Game Boy Color game. There's uh, numerous vaults online. Just search for like Game Boy ROM Lair and something should show up for you. You go back into NSUI here and then you wanna debug. You go in here, new sub super ultimate injector for 3DS. What I have it's a Game Boy Color game, so I'll pick that. You pick whatever you have. You hit load ROM, which is this button. You load your GBC, and it should fill in everything for you. Have the art here. What I like doing is just clean this up a bit. This is a short, this is a long name. You can just change this. Then once you're done, you hit export CIA. Uh, save it where you want it. I already did that, so, and then just uh, save your changes. Now you have a CIA where your ROM was located. So you're going to wherever that was, add the CIA file, you just drag this into the CIA folder on your SD card. So we go eject, you take your SD card once again and plug it in to the machine. Okay, it says new software and you're going to find a bunch of different things. This is the themes app. This is another app this is the fbi app this is the one we're going to use let's just open all these right now so we don't have to do it later anyways what we want right now is fbi you hit hit it then you hit sd and you go into your cia's folder and that's the only one here and you hit a you can keep it on your sd card but i like hitting install and delete that saves space and then yes and it should take a few seconds, depending how big the game is. Game Boy games are really small, so... Okay, home. Then you will see new software. Boom. We have the game installed. Then you can just launch that. And as you can see, it's booting the game. I don't really want to play it right now, but anyways. Next step would be to install HShop. So we, we head here, it says right here, there's a QR code, so you head into FBI shop. Yes, we want to close. Then you go into FBI again, you hit remote install, and then scan QR code. As you can see, it's going to enable my camera here. So I'll just scan the QR code, and it'll say, do you want to download this? You hit yes. And then you hit OK when it says finished, you hit home, go out of there. And now you should have what's called HShop on here. This allows you to install a bunch of games. 
let's do a search for something. Let's say all of these. We would want something. Star Wars. Oh, I can't spell. Hit OK. Hit Submit. Loads of games on here. Let's say we want this Angry Birds Star Wars. You just hit install and boom, it's on your machine. I don't want to because it's going to take a while. But then the final thing I'm going to show you is how to install themes through Anemone, which is this theme manager. Okay, so first mine is complaining that it doesn't have a default theme. So just go ahead and do that. So if it complains that it doesn't have any theme data when you go in there, you just go in here and then you just uh, go whatever basic yeah, just don't use the theme. Now it should be fine. And then you go back into Anemone and it shouldn't complain this time. Okay, so it says no, no none found. So let's just be really basic. Go for the most popular one on here. Hover it. You hit right bumper to download from QR. Then you use the camera to download it. See, now it's downloading. You're going to have your list of themes here. What you're going to do is press A, then up, and this will install the one that you have selected. What you do is, after this, you hit start to go out of the Anemone app. Hit home. And you're done.